Great start. I know a lot of people very excited about the Yukon win last night. If you are heading out the door, though, skies will be clear, but it is very windy and it's very cold out there compared to what we were at yesterday. Temperatures in the 60s in the afternoon. So our satellite radar shows from the past six hours. We had that rain push through. It was mostly some showers, uh, some thunder, some lightning, but luckily we didn't see anything mostly strong to severe. I know in New Jersey, they definitely saw uh, some potentially stronger storms and they also had a tornado warning. So here's a look too at the past six hours. Very quiet. Uh, our early warning pinpoint Doppler showing nothing right now. We're going to see some bright sunshine through today. Our headlines. It's going to be cooler today. Temperatures will be lucky if they reach 50 degrees. So once again, uh, what a difference. And that's actually below average for uh, normal temperatures this time of the year for early April, which are usually in the mid 50s. So it's going to be breezy out there through today, but that wind eventually will subside subside into tonight and then tomorrow it's going to be a nice start to the work week. We will see sunshine and temperatures that will be warmer in the upper 50s, maybe even the low 60s. Tracking some rain though for midweek. So you will need that umbrella once again, possibly for Tuesday morning and then also for Wednesday into Thursday. Here's a look at our early warning weather future cast. You can see through today once again, clear, bright skies, lots of sunshine, cooler temperatures after that front push through and then into tomorrow you can also see too. Lots of bright sunshine. Once again, a really nice forecast on tap. But then into Tuesday, clouds starting to build. So we start off with some partial sunshine. And then the system to the north of us, if it does come south enough, it's possible we could see a couple showers. So we'll keep you posted on that. But right now, just looking at the chance maybe for a few showers with that system. Oh, Old Saybrook, beautiful this morning. You could see that beautiful glow and wind gusts, though, coming in from the northwest. These are pretty robust, uh, up to 40 miles per hour gusts in New Haven before we were seeing a 40 mile per hour gust in Windsor Locks and then those sustained wind speeds anywhere from 13 to 30 miles per hour. So yes, very blustery temperatures are actually in the 40s and the 30s. But with that wind coming in, it feels like it's in the 20s in some spots of our state. So bundle up heading out the door the day ahead today. We are looking at that sun. It's going to stay strong through today, whether inland or along the shoreline. Now, once again, uh, a big question mark in play for Wednesday into Thursday where we actually could see a more robust storm system moving through. So here's a look at our wind gusts. By the way, you can see them gradually dropping through today, whether inland or along the shoreline. Let's take a quick look, though, at one of the models. And uh, you can actually see, uh, actually, this is a look at our forecast highs. But we are expecting, once again, yes, this is the GFS model. So Tuesday showing that chance of some showers. And then into Wednesday, you can see in the evening, that's when we could see some of this rain roll through into Thursday morning. You see that on our seven-day forecast as well. Look at Thursday's temperature, by the way, 70 degrees, breezy conditions. And overall, we could see some of that rain linger into the afternoon. We'll keep you posted Friday and Saturday temperatures in the 50s as well. Uh, breezy and a little bit cooler and those shoreline highs a little bit warmer uh, as well. So let's wish a happy birthday to a couple people out there. Nathaniel Sammy is 14. Donnie Jaskella is 65. Chris